This is the Delaware River. I am standing in Pennsylvania. That is New Jersey on the other side. Now, this painting, you've all seen it. It's Washington crossing the Delaware. One of the most famous paintings in our country's history. Well, I am standing on the very spot where that happened. That's right. It is right here that Washington, on Christmas Eve in 1776, crossed the Delaware into New Jersey. He led a surprise attack against the Hessians, who were Germans fighting for the British Army. At the Battle of Trenton, was decisively successful in that battle, and it turned the tide for the Americans in the Revolutionary War. Right here in this very spot. Today, of course, the place is a park, and it, as it should be. There's lots of interesting stuff here. So I'm gonna take a look around and show you a few things. And then later I'm gonna cross that bridge because today we don't have to take boats. And I'm gonna go into New Jersey and head up and explore some small towns. All of them right along the river here. So, yeah, let's go take a look. Now this is a Durham boat. The guys who work here uh, let me come in here. Uh, really cool, but this is a replica of the boats used, that Washington used, and the army used across the river. Check this out, you can see the paddles here. And of course there's the river right there. Uh, they transported these cannons, and of course all the men. They've got numerous replicas here. They actually do a reenactment and where they cross the Delaware every year. Of course here's the famous painting. Here we go, the Durham boat, large flat bottom boats, reproduction. Played an important role in Washington's crossing of the Delaware River, December 25, 1776. Yeah, Washington wrote to Governor Livingston of New Jersey, directed him to, to secure boats and craft, particularly the Durham boats. So, how cool, huh? All right, so here's a map of how things went down. Uh, I am here. And this is where Washington crossed. Split the uh, his uh, forces in two and led a two-pronged uh, attack into Trenton. Surprising the Hessians. And uh, as the guy who works here just told me, whooped their asses. <laughs> That's how he described it when he was telling me about it. So, wow, you can just feel the amazing history here. Here is a statue of Washington crossing the Delaware. Let's see what it says over here. A bicentennial gift to the people of the United States from citizens of the Bedford, Indiana area uh, and the Indiana limestone industry. July 5, 1976. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, huh? Now, sadly, no structures exist from the time that Washington crossed. This is the oldest structure here. This is the Taylor House, built in 1817. A wealthy family that lived in the area. You can see they lived very near the river. There's the Delaware right uh, right there. All right, I am going to cross the Delaware. I'm gonna cross this very narrow bridge. <laughs> wow. That has a lot of traffic on it for some reason. Holy cow, this is a tight fit. Really tight fit. Anyway, let me give you some looks in each direction. 
goodness gracious. And the Delaware. Anyway, yeah. So I am on my way into New Jersey. Now if I turn right, I will go to Trenton, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna cut a left and um, check out a few towns. What do you guys think? Almost there. Finally, I am in New Jersey. All right, everyone. Uh, let me show you on the map where I'm at. Uh, here I am right here. Trenton straight to the south of me. So I'm gonna drive along the New Jersey border with Pennsylvania and of course along the Delaware River. First town I'm going to visit is Lambertville. Population 4100. So uh, yeah, let's get into the town and we'll check it out. Well, a look at the Delaware River. I'm out on foot. I'm going to make my way into Lambertville. I'm here. Beautiful town. Uh, there's Main Street downtown right there. I'm going to show it to you. And uh, I'll tell you about the town as I do that. Let's see, I already told you the population. 4,100 people here. Median age is 53. That is, uh, the makes this, without question, an older town. U.S. average, or median age is 38, by the way. Gender breakdown, 51 uh, female, 49 male. Just pretty uh, normal. Race breakdown is 82% white, 15% Hispanic, 2% Asian, 1% mixed. I'm just gonna swing the camera around and give you a look. A very quaint town. Um, median household income here is 94,500 a year. 94,000 a year median household. That's 18, over $1,800 a week. Uh, income's really high here. Poverty, 5%. Do you wanna know what poverty for 17 and under is? Children, zero. Poverty for folks 65 and older is zero as well. Um, let's see, I've come upon this canal here. The Delaware and Brereton Canal. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna tell you about it. So this is the Delaware and Raritan Canal. Uh, built in 1830 by 4,000 Irish immigrants. Um, Many of them died of cholera while building it and were buried along the banks here. Could be said that uh, this canal might be haunted. This is the Lambertville train station built in 1851. It is a restaurant now on a national register uh, built along the canal here. Anyway, I'm going to wander up the main street here, tell you some more. By the way, today is a Monday. Uh, it's about 11 a.m. 74 degrees Fahrenheit, 23 Celsius. Beautiful downtown, isn't it? Most of this downtown is on the National Register. Anyway, a few more numbers here. Median home value in this town is four hundred and thirty thousand dollars very expensive place uh, to live to buy a house u.s average is two hundred eighty one thousand by the way for reference crime <laughs> crime is very low last year they had 5.5 incidents per 1,000 people u.s average is 23 so it is well below the u.s average uh, further breakdown of the numbers tells you more violent crime zero 
they had zero violent crimes in this town last year. It was all property crime. Um, a bit more about the town. It was a uh, prosperous factory town in the 1800s. And of course, uh, well, into the mid 1900s. And of course, uh, that kind of industry and factories started shutting down. But the town has successfully repositioned itself as a tourist attraction. Uh, you're seeing it for yourself. Clearly, they were successful. Because uh, even on a Monday during the week, this place is crammed with people. Now, this is the James W. Marshall house. He grew up here, his boyhood house. James Marshall is the gentleman who discovered gold in California, thus triggering the California gold rush. So, um, yeah, that guy had a pretty pivotal place in history, didn't he? Look at some of the old uh, buildings here in downtown. Okay, so those of you who want to know gas prices, $3.69 for a gallon of gas here in New Jersey. Now, something you should know about New Jersey and getting gas, I don't know if you can see that guy in the white car there, he is a gas station attendant. New Jersey is one of two states, Oregon being the other, where you don't get your own gas. An attendant gets it for you. So it's pretty weird getting gas here. Every time I'm in New Jersey or Oregon, and I pull up to a gas station, <laughs> I'm getting out of the car. Uh, it always kind of freaks me out when, uh, as soon as I step out, there's a guy waiting there asking me how much I want. But yes, this is one of two states where you do not get your own gas. Anyway, I'm kind of in residential now. Maybe look at a couple houses. What do you guys think? I'm on a residential street. Just showing you a few of the homes here that's well, that are pretty representative the area. Just a quick look. Beautiful, huh? Uh-oh. Did you guys see that? You probably didn't see it. There he is. There's a cat. Yay! Let me see if I can get up closer. Maybe see if that cat will let me scratch his ears. But anyway, I'll continue to show you these homes here in town. Just a couple blocks off the main street. And the cat disappeared. Anyway. It's really beautiful, isn't it? Do pictures of cats count? They don't, do they? <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. Alright, I'm going to head to the next town. I've entered the town of Stockton. It's pretty small, about 500 people here. I'll give you a few of the numbers. Median age is 56. Again, another older town. Gender breakdown is 50 50. Here's the race breakdown 99% white, 1% Hispanic. Median household income here is $113,000 a year. Wow, that's uh, a little less than $2,200 a week. Not a poor town. Poverty is 7%, so that makes sense. Crime, very low here. Uh, 11 incidents per 1,000. U.S. average 23. Anyway, I am uh, making my way into the downtown. It'll be very small. But uh, yeah, probably stop and look around a little bit. Walk around, see what we can find. All right, well, I'm out on foot here in downtown Stockton. It's very small. It's a quaint little uh, town in New Jersey. Let's see, one number I haven't given you yet is median home value. That is $362,000. So, wow. 
<laughs> US median home value is 281,000, so that's well above that. The Shell gas station. You can see the attendant out there getting the gas. See the lady uh, is not even getting out of her car. I'm guessing there are some people who love that. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna walk down here a little bit farther. I can see the bridge crossing the river right up here. So let's go take a look. All right, I'm in residential now. You wanna see some houses? They are spectacular. For over $300,000, they better be though, huh? It's perfect weather out here. They have beautiful old houses. And uh, they have been kept in really good condition. There's a duplex there, it looks like. There's the post office over there. It's like a new building, though. I wonder how old that is. Very stately looking house. I'm not sure if you can see that sign. It says Delaware River, motor vehicles only. Horses not permitted on bridge. Well, why don't I give you a quick look at the Delaware here? It's a pretty big river, isn't it? That's uh, Pennsylvania on the other side. Sure is beautiful, isn't it? Um, you know, New Jersey is the most densely populated state. More people per square mile than any other state in the U.S. And you always think of it, especially seeing pictures, uh, you think of the state as being really crowded. But there is a lot of open areas here. It kind of surprises you when you come here, and they are beautiful. See for yourself. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, here's this DNR canal, which we have, uh, which we saw down in Lambertville. It itself is uh, a beautiful waterway these days. Driving up here, we saw a lot of people canoeing, that kind of thing on the on it. I wonder if there's any good fishing in there. What do you think? Maybe someone in the area can fill in on that. making my way into Frenchtown. A little less than 1,400 people here. Median age is 40. Gender breakdown, 56% female, 44% male. So they got a few extra ladies here. Anyway. Yeah, I am, uh, looks like I'm about to hit downtown now. So I'm going to uh, go in there get out on foot and look around got some stuff going on here already though it looks like well I'm out on foot here in Frenchtown it is one of the quaintest places I think I've ever been to a lot of foot traffic a lot of people here big tourist business going on in this town anyway uh, how about if I give you some of the uh, other numbers? Do the race breakdown first. 86% uh, white, 5% Hispanic, 4% Asian, 5% mixed. Median household income here is 95,000 a year. It's a little over $1,800 a week that the uh, median household lives on. Pretty good incomes. Poverty, 8%. 
Uh, that's very low. Crime. <laughs> Crime last year was four incidents per 1,000 people. Zero violent crimes. Zero. That was all property crime. Uh, yeah. Let me just uh, kind of wander down here. You can see the bridge crossing the Delaware down the uh, street here. As I make my way through here. Well, that's a beautiful old architecture though, isn't there? Really interesting. That is a really interesting looking home there, isn't it? Uh, got some artwork out front. It might even be an art gallery. Give a little bit of a look around here. See the bridge crossing the Delaware right there, middle of frame. Another look at downtown. Sure is beautiful, isn't it? Wow. Did you think there were this amazing uh, looking places in New Jersey? Incredible. It's one of the most beautiful places I've uh, ever seen. The French Town Inn across the street there. That is old. Now let's see what's over here. Again, Horses, not permitted on bridge. Now there's the Delaware. All right. Let's turn around and give you another look at the town. Lots of people here. You don't get any more quaint than this. Church here. Fire department right next door. And the city library. Next door to that. Huh. Looks like city hall as well. That is just too cool. Show you a house or two before uh, I leave the town. I mean, wow. That is some kind of house, isn't it? Really beautiful. I love these old houses. Ooh, a lot of purple here. Another one right here, real quick. Well, guys, uh, let's take a walk down Main Street, Milford, New Jersey. Pretty interesting, isn't it? Let me tell you about the town. Median age is 47. Gender breakdown, 51% female, 49% male. Race breakdown, 97% white, 3% Hispanic. Median household income is $85,000 a year. That's a little over $1,600 a week. That's pretty good income. Yeah, look down the street, you can see the bridge over the Delaware. I'll just keep making my way this way. Uh, median home values here are 270,000. That's just under what the US median average is. And uh, crime, very low again. Five incidents per 1,000 last year. I took a look at the breakdown, they had one violent crime last year here all the rest was property crime well there it is the Delaware River 
quick look over here. This side as well. And there is the town. Looking up the main street. Checking out a little uh, residential here. Wow, huh? And um, look how close these uh, houses are to these railroad tracks. There's the Delaware River right there. That would be a crazy thing, wouldn't it? Live this close to the tracks. Sure is a beautiful area, though. Pretty awesome church, am I right? First United Church. Um, yeah, got the cemetery, or, or is it the graveyard? On the grounds. Wow. Something to see, isn't it? And across the street, this beautiful old house. That's yes, something. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Well, all right, guys, that's going to be the end of this video. Um, honestly, I'm not sure what's next, but whatever it is, be looking for it.